I'm Scott Dolan at Marine Maxim House, and I'm sitting here on the transom of a brand new Sea Ray 230 SLX. So one of the nice things about this swim platform area is you do have a nice backrest if you want to sit a little further towards the front, or if you want to sit backwards while you're putting on your wakeboard or water skis, gives you a nice little backrest to do that. If you don't want to sit that far towards the edge and you want to sit further back, the slide down and you can do that. You do have cup holders back here, have a stereo remote control back here, and one of the really nice things about this swim platform is it does have a flip over section. Now, I can't flip it all the way down because of where it's sitting at here at the dock, but it will flip down underneath the water level. It gives you a really nice place to sit uh, while kids are swimming around the back of the, the uh, back of the boat, or if you just want to sit back there in the water while you're having a drink, you can certainly do that. Walking into the boat, there is a nice pull-out sprayer back here. It allows you to spray your feet off before you get back in the boat. There is a draining cooler back here. You can use it for lines, fenders, ropes, beaters, whatever you want to use. There is a cocktail table. It's fiberglass. It's easily removable. It'll store back down here inside your engine well when you're not using it to get it out of the way and to give you a little bit more room in the cockpit. Slide out cooler, built in cooler, storage underneath. One of the nice things about the bottom of all these uh, sections for uh, storage is they have that nice diamond plate on the bottom so they don't hold the water and the moisture, it won't get all moldy and mildewy, really easy to clean for you. flip-flop backrest on the companion seat. That way if you're pulling the kids on the tubes or the skis or anything else, you want to flip this towards the front of the boat. It gives you a really, really nice rear-facing spotter seat. You're directly across from the driver, so talking to them is really, really easy. The tower on this boat is a push-button power tower. To raise and lower the tower, all you do is you go up to your glass dash and you can just push a button to raise it and to lower it really really nice if you keep the boat in a garage or if you keep it on a lift at a lake like Cedar Creek, uh, Possum Kingdom where you want to try to get the boat lifted up a little bit higher the water up into your boathouse really nice just having a push button tower also no exposed parts when it tower goes up and down one of the neatest features about this boat though is the glass dash so when you look up at the dash you do have a ski mode that you can use. This gives you different profiles for how fast the boat is going to speed up to what speed you set it at. In this case, 10 mile an hour, which is a little slow for skiing. So what we can do is we can bump this up to, let's say, 25 mile an hour. So if we did that and we set profile one and set, the boat would gradually speed up to 25 mile an hour, a little bit faster than 25, and then back right off to 25 mile an hour. There's also five different presets that you can use to save it for you. Also, just a basic cruise control. If you just want to cruise across the lake at, let's say, 22 mile an hour, you can just go ahead and you know tap that down to 22 mile an hour. The boat will keep it right at 22 mile an hour as soon as you hit the uh, set button. This is also going to give you a media player, a PDF player, which is kind of nice. It'll give you the ability to have a uh, like an owner's manual downloaded directly in your boat. Also, uh, video inputs. This screen right here is going to give you air temperature, water temperature. This is where your depth gauge will be, which you'll be using uh, quite a bit around the Dallas Lakes. Also, this is where you're going to have your uh, your color GPS. Uh, it takes a while to load because it is um, you know it is on a hard drive inside the computer. All of your uh, temperature and uh, pressure gauges for the boat. And also, here's where you're going to control your lights. This is also where, if you go to the more screen, you can control all of these really nice blue interior lights. This is where your docking lights, your lights down in your bilge, your underwater lights. This is also where you control your uh, tower. So, pretty, uh, pretty nice. All these lights are also on a dimmer, so you can turn them off. And they're on a three stage, uh, on a three -stage dimmer, which is really, really nice. Built down into the floor, nice deep 
ski locker. Goes pretty far towards the front of the boat. Plenty big enough to hold your wakeboard, your skis, your tubes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, tubes if they were deflated, of course. But You can see that is also lockable, which is nice. If you keep the boat on a lift, you can put your water skis down there and lock them. That way no one can get to them. Move it up to the bow of the boat. A little bit of a shorter bow. They've kind of noticed over the years that if you sit here with your legs stretched out, no one's really going to be sitting in front of you anyway. So, you know, because the boat's 23 foot, they do make the bow just a little bit shorter and give you that extra room back in the back of the boat where you're going to be using it the most. Storage underneath both sides of your uh, front bench seating. But the storage that's really, really nice, and it usually takes people a little while to realize they have once they buy one of these, is there's really nice storage built into either side of the uh, of the helm area. Also, there is a nice anchor locker up here for you. You can see we already have an anchor uh, an anchor in this one, which actually needs to be put down into its uh, cradle. But we'll do that after we get done filming. And again, matching on either side. That side's actually a little bigger than the other side is. And of course, snap in, snap out, infinity woven carpet throughout the entire boat. So that's our walkthrough of the new 23 SLX. If you have any questions on the boat, please pick up the phone and give me a call. Or better yet, just stop in and see us here at the office. I'm the second office on the left. I look forward to seeing you.